Hello, it's Matty G, and we're here live tonight, back for part 25 on our Carmsden Farm playthrough. We're just waiting for it to load in now. It's taking its time with everything that we've got on the map. <laughs> here we go. Welcome back to Hopewell Farm. And here we are. We spent a wee bit of cash in the last one. And I also did a little bit offline afterwards. Uh, would you like to see it? Here it is. It's simple. But there we have our egg pallet storage. We just drag all the eggs over and we'll store them up here when they're too full over there. Saving them up to sell them in November. And they don't need to be kept inside, they can be kept outside, as long as they're just kept out of the weather. Thus protecting our little cardboard boxes they're in. Uh, that's the idea of it anyway. Uh, I'm not sure if there was anything else we changed. That's got to be put away. Push through. Everything else looks pretty much the same. Fields growing nicely. Beautiful. Look at the soybeans coming out. Yes, we like that. We're in May. It's late afternoon. So we're going to get a bit of sleep. See you in the morning. And hopefully, there's something nice to buy in the market. morning again and it's June not making as much money as we normally would do but then there's not been much wind got one full pallet let's drag this straight over so we can show you how our little system works uh, where did you put this one we can fit two up here well, actually we could fit four up on these but at the moment there's two, I'm going to put side by side, so, uh, let's turn around so you can see, put two side by side and then we can stack another one on top of those as well. It's a little tight to manoeuvre in these but um, we'll get used to it. Actually we've got plenty of food for now. Ooh, that looks pretty. Canola is flowering. Oh, it's not canary, it's wheat. It's growing nicely. How's that soybeans doing? You've got plenty of food, shut up, noisy. If you ask me, they are definitely growing nicely, they're budding. Well, there's only one other place to really check out, and we're going to grab the car for that. Where did I leave that thing? Here it is, our trusty TLX 2020. All right, let's have a little look at looky looky. Yeah, burst through the hedge, drive through this farmer's field. I don't mind. It's not my field. We're going to check out what is my field. Whoa! Um, I may have had a little accident and somehow landed in a tree. Um, ah! There we go, we're out. But I did notice. Is that a chicken? I oh, suppose. Oh, uh, we'll have that. There's a bit of a luck there. Alright, so we'll just park it there. I still haven't seen any fishes. Keep being told there's fishes in this part of the river. 
Uh, I haven't seen any. But here it is. Our sorghum crop. Growing nicely. Apparently we're only getting a bonus out of that, but you know. Hey ho, this is our first little crop. This is just the help with feeding chickens. So what we'll probably do is we're going to have to make some sort of rotor. But this particular field here, we will rotate between crops, between wheat, sorghum, uh, I think they take barley. One over here, after this sorghum harvest, will always be oat. I'll try and keep that one as oat. Because the wife still wants... So we may have to give in and buy one. Let's, let's just hope that we don't crash this time. I should really learn my lesson with the higher planes. There we go. So it is a rapid little truck. Oops. There we go. Here we are, back at the farm. And we'll park her up briefly. And then we'll take a look in the sails, see if there's anything worth having a butch. Right. What do we have in here today? Well, we have the new Kloss. Oh, they're nice. I'm not sure if the swath drop or not. They would be nice, but I don't know if they swath drop. That's the problem. Uh, 16 grand ain't bad, though. 16 grand is not bad. Would it be worth a punt at that price? Um, possibly. Possibly. What we could do is have a look at the mowers. Now we know that these ones here, these two, are swath droppers. The question is, is the cloth a swath dropper? Let's see how much is it to rent. Two and a half grand to rent. Mm. Okay. I'm not I'm not hundred percent on it. That's the problem. I'm not. It's a nice little tractor don't need it but it's nice I like this style of tractor it'd be nice if you can get one of these with a bigger engine but there we go it's nothing really that we can use per se so we'll do some daily tasks we have got some grass to cut again but uh, we're trying to do that off screen for you because it can get a little tedious we'll do one grass cut at some point this year um, maybe if we get when we do get the new mower, if we do get a new mower that'll be used. I mean, what we could really do with is maybe a a, a big, big the crong or the crone, or however it's said. Maybe if we can get that one in the sale, um, I wouldn't hesitate. I wouldn't hesitate to buy that one. I really wouldn't. I like the idea of getting one of them as our our main source of grass cutting. Yeah, we're nowhere near finished in that one. We'll leave that there. Uh, let's check its seed and whatnot. Seeds, water, still got 30,000 litres of water in there. There we go, we've got plenty of water. How are our sheep doing? On the waterfront, they're fine. On the feed front, they're definitely fine. So, I mean, I honestly thought they would have got through more. And we've still got this bale here we can use at some point. We're almost to a full pallet of wool as well. That would be nice. Just going to jump in this big one and get this, get this uh, fertilizer box away. I want this spreader set out there. Do you know what? We will open and fill it while we're here. It would make sense. 
So filling it up at a later date then. There we go. Ah uh, yes. Our new header and trailer for our new Massey harvester. If any of you have missed it? I think we have spent some money. There we go. We will go and show you that in a second. We have kept the old one for now. The old harvesters as Still not 100% certain what we'll do with them. They will come in handy. So if we run over to our machine shop and go in the garage, why am that door open? There we go. There she is. The Massey Ideal P7, I think it is, 7 or MP7. Uh, we also got a new plow, which is this little red one, six meter spread, and a four meter cedar, biggish cedar. That's what we've been planting with for now. There we go. So yeah, everything seems to be taking shape. We're in June. Trying to think if there's anything else we can do or I'll now all the building we're planning on doing will be taking place after harvest next year by the looks of it because we do need to get that filled list first. And there is nothing in the sale. I mean apart from that, as I say, I don't know if it swath drops. Maybe something to look into at some point but until then we will just crack on that's another month down I love the way the moon went over there it looked like a shooting star now here we are good morning again it is 9am in July Jump straight back in there and again, there's not really anything at all. It's a shame. It is a shame. But we should have more eggs. Yes, thank you. We'll take them off your hands. And we're just going to... Oh, careful. There we go. And we're doing on the feed, 3,000, so they'll need topping up next month. How's the wheat coming along? Very nice. I think everything's coming along. Oh, look at that. We have got our first wall. work <laughs> all right drop that there come on bring it over in this corner a bit there we go we've got our first pallet wall let's go tuck this away really should use a truck to transport this can't run when they're in the when they're you know in the air like this oh we know where we're going with it we're going over to our racking system. I just dropped it. I have. Somehow I just threw it. Ugh, it's not going well today.
There we go. I reckon we should get at least three along the bottom. We're definitely going to be storing wool for a while. Uh, we will not be selling it because wool is going to be a part of our productions. We need to get a spinnery and a tailor shop. That's why we've got them. We may not keep those particular sheep. We may get an actual sheep pen at some point. Um, depends on money. We have got grass from our last cut in the silo there, ready to be fermented. We're not doing it yet because there's no sense in turning it on. And have we got enough feed to last till the next morning? We have. So again, I don't believe there's anything to do. We are just going to check the map though. It's always a good source of interest. We are, where are we? We're here somewhere. There's seven, ten. Yep, here's our fields. Growth. Almost ready. Partially, partially. It looks like harvest will be tomorrow. Well, there you go. We don't really want to end it there, so we are going to do some topping up. Uh, where is it? There it is. Here we top it up. We've got to do the chickens. Sheep are all right. We ain't got to worry about the sheep for a long time. They're not seem to be eating anything. There we go. I love the fact that you don't get collisions on this. You just drive straight through the pillars. Makes things a little easier. Although my driving seems to be affected again. <laughs> Bit of wheat. 5,000, that should be plenty anyway. Swing that around. Whoa, too far. It does have a mind of its own, this trailer, and it starts to turn too quickly. Oh, there we go, that's all we needed. It's not tipping, even though it's giving me the option to tip. Try again, shall we? There we go. It's a tip in now. Come on, chick chicks, take your feed. Oh wow, they took it all. Still, they'll keep them going for a couple of months. We are going to top up on seed and then fertilizer, I guess, and go do the work. The wind houses. The wind houses. The. Uh... Oh, God. The greenhouses. Some lose my marbles. We've also got a new new road, as you can see. We've had this one for a couple of months. That's part of half a year. And then this one here. Fortunately, we can't seem to, even though we own it, we can't seem to get rid of that bit of grass, which is weird. Since we don't own it, it's uh, bizarre. Uh, anyway, we're here. We're going to unload what seeds we have into these two. And then do a bit of fertiliser. Just to make sure they're topped up. And then when we do come round with the fertiliser, we're going to check the water levels. We haven't topped them up for a while. And I know we've got those big tanks on it. And it was showing 30,000 full capacity still. But yeah, it never hurts to check. Never hurts to check. Here we are, a bit of fertiliser. I reckon that'll do it. I reckon that'll do. Let's go see how well the fertilisation goes. Tip it 
tippa 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 tip that fertilizer not a lot that's the last little bit there for them and we've still got 30,000 water it's mad that is 30,000 water, 3 seeds, 3 fertilizer. Yeah. Not bad, not bad at all. Let's go put this one away. Drop the excess off. Swing. I never get that bit right. One of these days, I'm going to have a serious accident and punch a hole in there. But again, that would be by mistake. You're not deliberately trying to do it. Go on, tip it in, tip it in. There we go, let's pop this one away. Back it up, this is where I always go wrong. Ah! Maybe. Damn, right at the last second. Do you know what the problem is with this? I'm just not good. <laughs> no good at it. There we go. All's love and fair and love and war. I think is that the right here? Who knows? But there we are. That's all the little daily jobs done. Not a lot to do, really. Um, so, f episode 25. Keeping up appearances. <laughs> I think it speaks volume for itself. If you like what you see, or liked any of the other videos, please do follow us on Twitch. Um, you can use the any of the links and come to our YouTube channel. Um, if you do, please do subscribe. Give us a like. Give us a, you know, hit the notification bell. Uh, keep up to date with regular daily upload uploads until next time this has been matty g peace